In this screencast, we're going to use molecular orbital theory to explain the bonding in xenon difluoride. XCF2 has a linear geometry. You can explain the existence of this molecule using a partial molecular orbital scheme, just by considering the interactions between the PZ orbitals on the three atoms. The first step involves treating the two fluorine orbitals together. There are two possible combinations of fluorine 2PZ orbitals, in phase and out of phase. For F2, these combinations would lead to the sigma bonding and antibonding orbitals, but in XEF2, the fluorine atoms are much further apart, so there's little interaction between these orbitals, and the two combinations are of approximately the same energy. The next step involves seeing how these two fluorine orbital combinations interact with the xenon PZ orbital. The in phase combination has a wrong symmetry to interact with this orbital, and as a result, there's no interaction. This combination of fluorine orbitals is therefore non-bonding. In contrast, the outer phase combination has the correct symmetry to interact with the xenon PZ orbital. Depending on its phase, the combinations give rise to a bonding orbital and an antibonding orbital. The final step is to show these combinations on an energy level diagram. On the left hand side we have the xenon 5pz orbital and on the right hand side the two combinations of fluorine 2pz orbitals. The outer phase combination of fluorine orbitals interacts with the xenon orbital to give bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals whereas the in phase combination gives a non-bonding molecular orbital. Overall the three PZ orbitals interact to give a bonding orbital, a non-bonding orbital and an antibonding orbital. Since there are two electrons in the xenon PZ orbital and one each in the fluorine PZ orbitals, there are four electrons to place into the molecular orbitals. This means that the bonding and the non-bonding orbitals are filled but the antibonding orbital is empty. This bonding pattern is described as a three-centre four-electron bond.